Hi guys, this is Keith Mathias with Remax Champions here in Trinity, Florida. Um, giving you a quick market update here from what we're seeing. This is all updated in May 2024, just so you know. I'm um, going to start out here, just going to give you my resume. <clears throat> I've got a bachelor's degree in finance, bachelor's degree in economics. Uh, I spent 10 years in accounting before real estate. Now I've been in real estate a little over five years. Uh, since then, I've been in the top percent top 10 percent agents here in productivity in my brokerage uh, born and raised in Minnesota spent a lot of time in Iowa just across the border um, kind of in that Okaboji spirit spirit like area if you're, if you're familiar with Iowa at all um, anyway and I'm also a father of two so uh, growing them up here in Florida doing our best so anyway moving right along so when when we're looking at a when I'm looking at a market update <coughs> and, and trying to analyze the current market I like to look at four areas Number one is price trends, uh, number two is sales volume, number three is inventory levels, and number four is the, the days on market. Okay, so we're going to start right off with price trends. Um, some of the trends here that we're seeing in the, the, you know, this year so far, and really all these, all the information I'm looking at is going to span the last 12 months. Okay, so as you see our price trends, uh, now this looks pretty volatile, but you'll notice here that this graph only ranges about $20,000 between 360 and 380. Um, so while it looks volatile, it's staying in a pretty small percentage. It's about a 5% swing. Um, so the price trends are staying pretty, pretty um, consistent. We had a little bit of dip over the winter, coming back up in the spring, but like I say, um, overall, it's staying pretty consistent and within a 5% range. Now we're looking at sales volume next. Um, that's the number of houses sold. As you can see just from the graph visually, we've been trending down over the last year. Um, this time last year, we, we sold 1,400 homes a, a month here in Pasco County. This last month in April, we sold around, around 900. Um, so you see that's a pretty significant decrease. Okay, so um, <clears throat> as you notice, just, you know, I want to show you the big points. Our house, the amounts of houses we're selling every month has been going down. It had a little jump at the beginning part of this year, but we're, we're kind of back where we were, we were trending. Now in terms of inventory levels, this isn't, this isn't surprising at all. Um, as we've seen with those, uh, the lower houses sold, we're seeing active listings rising. Um, even with everything staying the same, let's say we're getting the exact same amount of new listings each month, um, if we're selling less, more is staying. Does that make sense? Um, we're also, in my opinion, seeing more coming to market than we did previously um, due to a few different things, I'd imagine. But as you can see, the, the big picture here, a year ago, we had 2,400 or a little under 2,400 active listings. Today, we have over 3,600 active listings in the county. Um, so today, buyers have a lot more to choose from is what you want to think about, okay? The next thing we want to look at is the days on market. How long is it taking us to sell these houses? All right, as you can see pretty visually, that's been going up. That's been trending up over the last year. Um, so it's taking longer for these houses. They've been sitting longer on market, which makes sense. We're selling less houses, so it's taking longer to sell them. The inventory is going up. Buyers have more options, so it's taking longer to sell them. Um, so big picture, it's taking a little bit longer to sell them. Now to, to kind of wrap that all up, we've got our four main points again. Price trends, the price has been staying steady. Uh, we haven't really been seeing a significant decrease yet. They've been staying within a 5% range. Um, sales volume now, our sales are going down. We're selling less per month, um, pretty consistently month over month, going back all the, this whole year, uh, <coughs> which is making our inventory levels up. Uh, we have more active listings on the market, and it's taking more days on market. If you take these four, these four things and kind of plug them together, it really equals we're in a buyer's market. Buyers have a lot of options, uh, more options than they had a year ago. Um, we're seeing prices aren't aren't rising. They're staying pretty steady. They have a little time to do things, um, and they got a lot of options. They just have a lot of options is what it comes down to. Um, and that means sellers are going to need to adjust, okay? Um, a year or two ago, it was the exact opposite. It was a seller's market. Prices were going up. Buyers had to adjust. Uh, today, it's sellers that need to adjust. That means they need to adjust their expectations a little bit. Um, they also need to adjust their process. They might need to do a little more preparation for that house to make it stand out a little better. Um, you know, all those good things. They might need to, there might need to be a little more negotiations. Uh, you, you might need to put a new roof on, that, that kind of thing. Um, anyway, that's what I'm seeing in the market right now. Again, this was updated in May of 2024. Um, I always want to point that out because we're always changing. Um, if you notice I haven't updated this in a little bit and you want to see you know, what I'm feeling that day, 
just reach out to me. I'm always available to you. Uh, my phone number's here on the website. You can always reach out to me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, however you want to, however you like to, to connect. Um, and I'd be happy to help you out with and, and talk to you about what I'm seeing at that current time. Um, anyway, my name is Keith Mathias with REMAX Champions here in Trinity, Florida. Um, I help buyers and sellers all over the Tampa Bay area. Pascos County is kind of my, my home base, but I do venture out into Hernando, Hillsboro, P Pinellas, um, even sometimes all the way up to Citrus. Uh, so if you need some help, if you've got some questions, um, I'd be happy to let you know what I'm seeing and help you in any way I can. All right? Thank you again. Keith Mathias, REMAX Champions. Thanks.